Good morning. Good morning. I'm Joe. I'm Gav. And this is our toy shop on tour where we're taking you all around the country trying to find the best vintage toys available and maybe having a bit of adventure on the way. It's Monday morning, it's day one. Let's get it, people. Toy Shop on Tour, the new TV series that takes you, dear viewer, all around the country as me and Gav buy as many toys as we possibly can and pop them in this van. Over 30 shops in the UK. Action figures, dolls, Star Wars, weird stuff, Transformers, aliens, Thundercats, bootlegs, He-Man. From all the way down south to all the way up north. East, West, Wales and Scotland, we're covering it all. We'll have rare items and small favourites. So join me, Joe, Gav and Matt the cameraman as we take this Toy Shop on Tour. We are en route. That's right, first stop on our Toy Shop on Tour is obviously Blackpool. I mean, where else were you going to go? Home of the Tower. Home of the Ballroom. Ooh, dancing. <laughs> We'll be showing off some of the moves later. Oh, nice. But more importantly, toys. Yes. Plenty of them, we hope. Getting up this morning at, what was it, 10 past four this morning. Yeah, I mean, I'm I don't think I'm still properly awake now. I was thinking last night, because we've been planning this trip for so long and all the logistics and everything. Yeah. I realised last night, We'd, we're going to see toy shops and race. Actual yeah. toy shops. I'd sort of forgot that. Yeah. <laughs> the whole thing is, yeah, loads of toy shops. We're going out to buy toys. <laughs> yeah. Find as many toys as we can. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. Hopefully we'll see toys that we've never had before. Oh, that would be nice. That'd be cool. Help we buy something we've never had before. I'm going to shops I've never been to before as well. Mm. Can't wait. We've got some really exciting days ahead. And tonight, by the end of the day today, we'll be in North Wales. We're travelling so far. Basically, we're international <laughs> travellers. <laughs> nice little shop, isn't it? <laughs> Morning. Not too bad, how about you? Thanks for coming in early. Thought you were having breakfast. Absolute pleasure, <laughs> no problem. I'm one of those if I don't eat straight away I get a bit weird so I feel like that. Right. Customers all customers will be aware of that which is <laughs> coffee. So Mark, Brooks Collectibles, here we are, we're very excited. It's day one, first stop on our uh, whistle stop tour around the country of Toy Shop on Tour. I'm I'm deeply grateful. It's very kind of you to come here first. I... Oh we're we're very excited. Very excited. I'm excited just looking at the Tories. I know. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like eyes you know, wide already. You know, you talk to someone, but your eyes are everywhere <laughs> yeah. else. You know what I mean? You've got the museum and you've got the shop. Well, let me show you. This is a little shop that gets a little bit bigger on the inside. Oh, ah, Tardis style. Oh, literally. <laughs> Very cool. Welcome. Oh, wow. here we go. Look at that. This is, awesome. the, this is the main shop floor. Oh, that's um, amazing. Promenade through there, front guys are opening. Uh, we have got gifts, souvenirs, prop replicas, toys. That's mainly the model stuff through there. Yeah. Then down here you've got uh, old puppets, uh, retro arcade, more gifts and souvenirs. Brilliant. Um, just a general mix of everything, and then if we come upstairs, we'll show you the toy room. Well, I've seen the videos, and it still oh. looks bigger than on the video. Yeah. Welcome to the toy room. Oh man, check this out. Sinclair C5. Sinclair C5. It was Clive Sinclair's, say, yeah. basically, it was his look into the future. This was going to be the vehicle everyone was driving. Eco-friendly. Like early on, when was it? Was it late 70s or early 80s? Early 80s, I think. Early 80s. Probably says, and then we've got an order form down here, which is fantastic. It's like you could order extra mud flaps, six pound ninety-five, which would have been quite expensive. Yeah, it was it in big the 80s. I think that's what killed it, wasn't it? it was yeah, the just the cost involved. of it. Because there's nothing to it. You look at it, and it's it's like a bucket. Yeah, but they were very expensive. But you see them very occasionally. You saw on the road, and it was like oh, <gasps> the so future. Exciting, yeah, that's new company car. Oh, if only. <laughs> I dream of such things. Look at that. There's so many fantastic things in it. My eyes are everywhere. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Look at that little bridge. Yeah, it's ASOS. 
on the model kits. So how long have you been here, Mark? Uh, since about 8 o'clock. <laughs> Shop opened in 1949. I know I look well on it, I moisturise a lot. It's been here a long time. These are the original shop cabinets from the 1950s. So they were downstairs on the main shop floor. That noise is one of the model trams running, um, which I don't know how to switch off, so I hope it's not too annoying. <laughs> yeah, 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 so these were all downstairs in the 50s and 60s. There's a fantastic display of action man here. Not least featuring one of my childhood favourites, the ever so breaky and nearly always broken action man capture copter. It was an improvement on its predecessor because it didn't have the nice, the hang out, it had these big things so it could land on water. Um, and it was, it was a great toy. I loved playing with this when I was little. Um, and we also found some, not so long ago, we found some shop stock examples oh, as yes. well. And they were was, really beautiful. Was this one here the predecessor? That was the predecessor. And this one suffers with the problem that you always find. Where have the front bits gone? They have, uh, they've broken off, they've left it. But another really breaky piece was the Land Rover at the top there. You just see it, the Land Rover and trailer. A really, really breaky item is that. But that one looks in fairly nice condition. Got some really cool advertising stuff here. As you know, you know, I love kind of just advertising McDonald's and things like that. Look here, we've got a little outspan orange vehicle. How fantastic is that? You're not going to see one of them anywhere. Just this place. This is a good place. Look at this, just this big plastic pencil case. They would have got wrecked, there's so few of them about. Shall we wander back downstairs and go and have a look down there? Cool, let's go and have a look. That was way bigger than I expected. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot bigger on the inside, isn't it? There's some awesome stuff in here. This is it, this vintage cabinet, this is what uh, yeah, we need to have a look at a lot of Star Wars. <laughs> okay, we've got Biggs there at the back. It's just a custom figure, but it's really, really cool. Someone's done it out of a uh, Bespin hand by the look of it. And yeah, it was just Biggs. He featured for, you know, seconds and that was on the cutting room floor. But there he is, Biggs, wicked. Mark, tell us what you've done. Bit of an obsession. Started with the figures and then you move on to bigger toys. I could never afford the master replicas and they were always too hard to find yeah. at the time. So um, a nice chap called Adam Savage did a YouTube video a long time ago. Oh, it's great, that, isn't it? Yeah, Adam well, he's Savage. actually retweeted pictures of this when we built oh, it. Oh, excellent. I sent him some pictures of it, which was very kind of him. It's so weighty. Yeah. It's all metal. It's basically Denix broom handle Mauser, which is what master replica used with yeah. the bits filed off instead of leaving them on. Uh, mystery disc. All the greeblies on done in chemicals, not paint. Ah, that's, just to make it. That's what bit, makes it look yeah. the part. So old. it does. It looks like an old, well-used blaster. So what we've got here is a full run of vintage Star Wars figures. Um, everything from your yak right down to your your first Luke. Um, so yeah, it's a nice run. You've got the Jabba and the Rancor, and you've got a Jew back in the hidden in the corner. There's a blue snag in there as well. So there's all the main players. Uh, there's no vinyl cape jower, but hey, that's just being greedy. How much are, how much are they? Uh, how much is the full set? I don't, oh. I don't know. I, I, we were saying offers of about four and a half grand, mm. but that's everything, including the monsters, you know, as is the whole shelf. But I don't know. I mean, I spent nearly two years putting it together, so. When Vectis looked at it, they said about three and a half through the auction. Yeah. I mean, that's basically my childhood on a shelf. Like I say, we're still trying to pick out yeah. weapons and things well, to I make know, sure it's all... Yeah, there, there are... show variants. And yeah, there are, there are sort of... Good and not so good. But this is what collecting's about, isn't it? You get a better one and you swap trade it off, out. Trade yeah. it up, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'd like to buy these Star Wars figures. It's just a matter of uh, seeing if you want to part with them. This is the difference of being a toy dealer as opposed to anything else. If you're selling anything else, it's a commodity, it's an item, you're just going to go, well, yes, that's fine, it can go. But because you're a toy dealer, yeah. a bit of your heart's attached to it. So it's almost that tiptoe now of like, will Mark sell me these or will Mark sort of want to keep them? So it's over to you, my friend. Well, the, the <clears throat> thing is, is more than anything, it's a talking point from for the yeah. shop. The idea was it was a 
a museum display, but of course only 50% of the people go upstairs. So in the winter, um, we put it in the window. And like I said, with the Princess Leia gun, it was in the window. And of course I've knocked them all over and broken one of the blasters. So we moved them in here. So it's safe from me basically, yeah. um, and my steady hands. But yeah. it, it does, uh, you know, it is a good talking point. Like I say, it's my childhood you, on this show. You can show. tell because most of the weapons here are original. There yeah. are some repro, yeah. obviously. You know, the DTs aren't real because they would never be. No, um, I think and that Ben Kenobi at the back looks a bit too nice as well. Yeah, there's a few, yeah. there's a few yeah. I've spotted on, on yeah. around there that you... But th this is it. it, it's buying them and then going through and finding yeah. the weapons. It's time, isn't it? Well, the it? weapons is where it's at. It's yeah. totally where it's at. So I'm going to take this a no on this lot. So okay, I'm going to try and find something else to buy that's not going to upset him because I don't know. It's, it, it's yeah. It, there, there must be something we can uh, get for you, but I think that's just too precious at the minute. Understandable. Understandable. Yeah. We started out as a traditional seaside gift shop. Um, after the war, you, the only thing you could get were gifts and souvenirs and leather goods as rationing ended. And I think really when we hit the 50s and Metoy became Corgi is when we really started selling toys, getting into toys. Really as they've come in we've always kept a few of them and that's kind of grown and grown and grown into probably my major childhood obsession with toys and collecting. So I, I was the Star Wars generation but I missed out on He-Man and Transformers and Thundercats, that kind of thing. So. Now I'm a little bit older and I'm into the prop replicas and things, but you get drawn into people's enthusiasm for stuff. So when someone comes in and they're a crazy Thundercats collector and they start telling you about it, it makes you re-examine those toys and go, actually, they're not as terrible as I thought they were. So yes, Mark, I saw this in the cabinet and uh, I quite like to buy it. No. <laughs> no, I'm gonna keep. <laughs> Sorry. How much could that? I've, I mean, we, uh, having looked at it a bit ago, there's a few dents and things like that. It's not the best. It's patina. What's the sort of? Yeah, patina. Patina. Yeah. That's the uh, the antique trade talk. Yes, about it, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. How much can it be? Where do you need to be on it? Because it's got issues, I'd only put it out for about fifty pounds. It's not perfect, like you're saying. I it's think beautiful. I think those heavy cast metal parts in there have yeah, done they've done their damage, damage haven't yeah, they? Yeah, which is because these part are like of the charm. A, these are like a vac form kit, part yeah. of the charm. Such a salesman. Yeah. These are like a vac form kit, and then you've got all these heavy, heavy industrial metal parts in there, which obviously wasn't sensible. Because as soon as you move it around, it just dents all the uh, all the stuff up. I, I as soon as I see that and think of Leslie Nielsen, I always go straight into the Naked Gun. And when you watch the films, or when you watch that film and he play, he's yeah. playing it straight, it's the hardest thing to watch. Without expecting him to do a smart line, yeah. cigarette, yes I know it is, that kind of thing. <laughs> I drove back to the office. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. A film I actually have seen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So there. <laughs> Come on, what's it going to be? 30 quid. Done. Deal. That's us then. That's us. Thank you very much. There's some money for you for your food and blanket. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much for your time and your nice expertise and showing us around your amazing TARDIS like shot. I'm glad you've enjoyed looking around. That was brilliant. Great. That's number one. What a great first shot. Yeah. Good start. Let's get to number two. Come on, people, we've got time. You can check out Brooks Collectible on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Uh, we are on the promenade in Blackpool. Basically, over there is the sea, and over here is the fun. And just around the corner from Brooks Collectibles, we've got this. Hi, Collectibles! Go and have a look, see what we find. Let's get in there, people. How's it going? Hi, Ian. Joe, and I think you know Gav anyway. Yeah. yeah. Ian does all the Comic Cons as well. Loads of them. This is a huge shop. Well, there, is, there is some vintage. You just have to look a bit harder for it. So, nice. Very reasonable, 1950. There's loads of cool modern stuff as well. I always like these. It's just so cool. If you spent enough time in here, there's, there's going to be something. There's going to be something for us to buy. That's what I'm trying to find, there's something to buy. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's only Scarecrow, but it's £8.50. Quite reasonable. We'll see if we can get a bundle deal on those. There's another one. Any other I bet there's no other characters, is there? Just boxes of stuff that you sort of... It's been a bit bad going through them, but it's just... You never know what's going to be in there. No, no, that's, that is just a bin. <laughs> basically like pop culture heaven in here. There's so much going on. You've got all your Kevin Smith figures. Oh, Trek. So much Trek. This is a wall of Trek, Star Trek stuff. All the Playmates figures. This is a great shop because like, this Silent Screams, Real Masters Frankenstein, you won't find one of them anywhere in its, in its packet. Mezco, early Mezco stuff. Lots of superhero figures. Bits of everything. What's the cow, is that, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It looks a bit like her, actually. It's Liz Hurley, isn't it? It's quite cool. Not bad. Six pounds as well, it's not, you know. Not a bad price, that. Here we go, swinging by. The reptile. Hammer horror, the reptile. Whoa, what a figure to make. They're quite good, the hammer. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what it looks like in the film. Fantastic. Gav. What have you found? Gargoyles. Oh, Ten of gargoyles. They were everywhere years ago, but now yeah. they're getting hard to get. They How many have you got? Oh, loads. Listen, people, if you want gargoyles, come here. <laughs> I love living dead dolls, for one, but I really do love Velma. <laughs> oh, she's really cool. Look at her glasses. But Daphne as well. Come around. Come and have a look, man. Here we go, we've got the whole gang. Got all the good ones, you don't often see these all in the shop. Got the Adams Family, Gomez and Morticia as well. Right at the beginning of the trip. Yeah. <laughs> There's more stuff to find. I've found my uh, four scarecrows. Oh, which cool. I'm sure there's thousands oh, more in here. The light in the head scarecrows. No, yeah, the... Uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Four of them bad boys. Gav, you've got the money. Come on. Oh, I have an eye, yeah. <laughs> Star Wars, Star Trek, Living Dead Dolls. Fortnite, quantity, lots of it. So please bring it in so I can buy it off you. I mean, I don't know what E.T. was doing himself to get in that sort of pickle. How are you, Jersey well? Yeah, yeah, not too Nice bad. to see you, mate. Good, good. Thanks for having us in to, uh, okay. to have a look around. Have a look around, see what you've see got. See what we can find. Your name's not down, you're not coming in. Okay. So it's got the inners and it's got the pipes. Yeah. It's got those two pipes. Yeah, it's got that. Yeah. But it's still running. And if you open it up and help yourself, you can see. I put them all in these because uh, they were just hanging around. But at the time, I didn't have plastic bags for these. But if I had now, so I could actually put them in. What's the money? What, what, how much could that be, Jez? Uh, I've got 240 on it, and he, he's happy to sit on it forever. Okay. That is a nice bit of money. So is, is that his best price, 240 Yeah. I've tried to knock him down so many times, but he says, if I want it, there, yeah, if not, I'll be taking it as fame with me. And it does look good in my shop. In the, uh, well, yeah. I might have to put batches in it there. I think I took them out ago. Yeah, don't worry. Else. And I'll find you some batches. Do it, that's cool. cool. Somewhere. That is why it's cheap. Last one on yeah. it, eBay was like on the two two fifty. Yeah, it's the broken bit there, isn't it? Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. It kills it. I just thought cool. I just got a loading one go sort of thing. Yeah, no, he's I love Triptychon, it's such a cool it's a dinosaur, isn't it? So yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. can't argue with that, for real. Yeah. Thanks, Jazz. 
So that's it, that's Blackpool, Gav. Three down. Three down. About 30 to go. 30 to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. So where next? Rill. Rill. Lovely Rill. Lovely Rill. So into a different country. Yeah. Wales it is. Whoa. Right there. All the signs will be funny. Yeah. This ice screams a bit. <laughs> Doesn't really feel <laughs> real, does it? Oh, and that's films for you. Here we are. Welcome to Rill, sunny, sunny Rill, where we're going to see Plastic, plastic Crack Collectibles. Hi, mate. Hey, yeah. You're right, good to see good. you. Good. And you? Oh, me. Can't mm. wait. Just looking forward to this. Smash it. Hey, hey, mate. Gav, you've got some wicked stuff in here. Told you. This is awesome, isn't it? Better, isn't it? Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah, look. Yeah. It's so hard with muscles because they all look a bit the same. And there's about 285 of them. And to, to, and to know which one, <laughs> which ones you haven't got is really hard. Pretty sure I've not got that one there, though. You've not got a Lego Velma in here, have you? Right, so regular viewers of this will know that I quite like the Get Along Gag, and Gav certainly does as I well. I really do love Get Along Gag. But you don't see this. You very, very rarely see this. I've never had one before. I've never seen it. And this, as far as I know, was only released overseas. Uh, Neil informs me it was the Canadian market. But this is a bit of an anomaly, because it has a UK sticker on. Now, as this is by the seaside, and if this has come from around here, this is where things come and sort of end up at the end of their life. So we find by the seaside, you will find Fort Maxes, you will find big, weird stuff, USS flags, things like that, were sent over here when they just couldn't sell any more in America. So they would come later than the rest. And that's what I think this is. I think this has just been around here. It's reasonably priced at 35 quid. It's not really worth a lot of money but find another, so yeah. I'm buying it. And what's unusual I really like as well, it. it's for the larger figures. Yeah. So all the other play sets are for the little figures. Yeah, yeah. Check out these, look, cool for kids, Ghostbusters braces. Get in there and have a look. There's just so much, look, look, ghost balls. They're scary. <laughs> right at the back there. And this, this is my favorite here. This little makeup set. I mean, it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Yellow, green, blue, and red. What are you gonna do with that? from uh, wimpy restaurants and what what would happen I mean, this one is still sealed this is a rarity what would you do you'd pull the thing i pulled mine when i was little and it let out a little bit of green gas which these days is a bit worrying what was that gas but well, look at it it's got a little bit of a dink but it's ace from ghostbusters 2 89 and at the time these also came with a certificate that they handed over the counter and you will never see one of them, like very rarely. They're rarer than the actual can itself. It's hard to see one that's not been popped, but to get one with a certificate, you know, you'd be talking a bit of money there. Four pound, please, buddy. Uh, thank you very much. Right, um, I want to buy things. Okay. I'd like to buy that. Yeah. Has this just come in? No, it's been here for a couple of weeks. I like that. I can do that for 35 instead of 45. Sold. I shall have that, young man. Thank you very much. There we go. And, I mean, at the moment, I seem to have a bit of a thing with Roger Rabbit. Coming away shamely at the bottom. Yeah, I know, but he's just, he's a big one. Um, you just never see him that big. 30 is the best. I'll take him as well. Yep, no worries. Wicked, I love him. He's awesome. Oh, what is the... How 1983, old, he's 15. Oh, wow. 15? Yeah. Sold, 100%. Look yeah. at him! Ah! So, why Arvo? What's going on there? I don't know, I've just got a fond memory of somebody else's TV. The makeup kit. Yep. I really like that. The braces are very, very cool. Cool okay. for kids. Uh, I quite like the watch. Okay. So, on them three, what do you reckon you could do? We'll do all three for 65. 65. Sounds good. Deal. Thank you. What would be your best on the Junior T Rex? Yeah. T Rex. Stegosaurus. And the Steg. Something we can 
I do all three for 520. Knock 80 off. You do three for five. I'll buy her at five. 510. Sum up, meet me in that middle. Oh, I'm really stuck at five. The, the only problem is the T Rex has cost me not far off that. So 510, I'm happy. I'll do you 510. Yep. Sweet. All right, but thanks. Excellent. Right, the absolute first thing I zeroed in on when I walked into the shop and I knew I was in the right place. Look at this. Little Cabbage Patch music box. And I'm told it works. So let's have a go. There she is. Her eyes move side to side. She's fantastic. I'm gonna immediately regret winding that up though. It's a nice way to end the day, because so I've been like, it's been a little bit like, I wanted to buy more, I wanted to buy more, and now I finally have. So now I'm really pleased. Not cheap, cheap, but yeah, pleased with that. Thank you. Thank you, mate. Okay, so it's day one, that, that was it. We've, we've done. We've done day one. And we've we've had a great day. Um, we've been around lots of different places and we've seen lots of different toys. And we've bought lots of different toys. We've bought loads toys. of cool toys today. But have you got a favourite? I have. And I just happen to have it here. <laughs> it's like <laughs> you it. And it is my little 1984 Cabbage Patch Kid music box. Oh yes. And it does work. And thankfully, it's got an on and off switch. <laughs> Switch it on though for a bit. There we go. Look at the little eyes go. I knew he was going to pick that. <laughs> I just, as it's soon so as I nice. saw it in the shop, I thought he's going to buy that. He's going to buy that. I couldn't not have it. It was the first thing I saw. It's not even got a fake aerial on it. To be honest with you, normally I'd rip him for this. <laughs> and even though I know him very well, turn it off, man. <laughs> even though I know him very well, I'd normally rip him for this. But to be honest with you, my choice, what, come on man. then, let's see. I bought some amazing, I've got the beautiful Jurassic yeah. Park pieces and I thought... Oh, I, I thought, assumed that's what you choose. Yeah, I know, because yeah. they're just so nice, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. And But I chose something because, I, I don't know, <laughs> but <laughs> who can go wrong with a massive Roger Rabbit? <laughs> this is more like one of my choices. I know, <laughs> you're affecting me, you're making me ill with whatever you've got. And I've ended up let's get your loving out this. Of way. No, I'll need another one of those soon. <laughs> Oh dear. It's cool, that is really is I know, cool. it's massive. I mean, look at it. My head's huge. It's good that it's in the packet because they go really furry. Yeah, this will be... Any, any little bit of dirt, ruined. Yeah, and it'll be sticky. But yeah. it's not too bad, this one. No. It's never been off. It just looks like it's trying to get off the card. <laughs> it's desperately so. trying to escape. But that's my favourite thing today. That's nice. It's good. It's, it's got good. some cool stuff advertised on the back. Everything oh, yeah. about it is good. Yeah, the, the cool stuff on the yeah. back. Oh, man. And now that's sat me down. And you know what? Guess what? Are you, are you gonna keep it? I've never seen the film. Never seen the film? Didn't have a telly. <laughs> never seen it. Any regrets? Anything you wish you'd got? I think the Boulder Hill. Oh yeah. Keeps coming back in my mind. Yeah. It was quite Because there was enormous. money in it. A little bit. It's nearly. Yeah. That was a nearly piece. Like, because yeah. the inners were there. There was a it lot was, to look. The, inner, the inners are what were selling it, really. Yeah, the they? inners were selling it. Yeah. And the fact that the, the, the stickers were sealed. Yeah. It was that. Because the sealed Boulder Hill is worth a mm. lot of money. Like, mm. you know, four figures. Yeah. But a, a used one with, you know, yeah, sealed apologies, at one end. You know, yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, I mean, I, so I still have that going yeah. through my mind. But otherwise, no, I think I'm okay. So any surprises from today, yeah? Just plastic crack collectibles in general. Yeah. That shop had everything, everything for me. That's it then, first episode down. That's right. So if you like what you see, click stuff, subscribe to the channel, and furthermore, we'll be upon you. Yes. Before you know it. Click it, you'll get more. Yeah. That's a good watch word, isn't it? <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, retro stash. Hello, everybody. Here we are outside Super Tomato. Toy shop on tour.